Hi, I'm Xenowave and today I'm going to show you how I made this sound. Okay, so in unison section, we have a unison order of nine and unison for oscillators only turned on. I have panning and volume at 100%. I have unison pitch at 82%. There's no sub-level, no envelope variation, and I have unison phase at 56%. Operator one is just a sine wave, and I have this volume envelope on for a softer attack. Operator two is also a sine wave with the tension on the around a little below the fifth tick and I have harmonics 8 and 16. 8 is at 50% and 16 is at 47% but you know mess with all these parameters as, as you see fit. I have ratio of 4 and the volume is at 51% if you type it in or if you look at the hint bar, it's just at positive 3%. So the idea behind the sound was trying to make a pad out of really, really simple sounds. And this that's just kind of what I came up with. So if we take off the FM, it sounds like this. So the main thing that's causing it to have such a big atmosphere is re really just the reverb, but the chorus helps too. I have a chorus order of nine and 100% depth, 100% or 97% speed, 6% del chorus delay, 100% spread, 55% cross, and 100% volume. But the reverb over here. I just have the low cut and high cut at whatever I, I deem fit. I have no pre-delay, I have max room size, max diffusion. I have the decay at around 5.6%. Yeah. And I have high damping at around 11.7 or 8 kilohertz. And I have the volume at 100%. So if I take off the the reverb it just sounds like a regular old like you know sine waves in unison detuned sine waves so the reverb is really like what what causes that really really nice swell and Actually, if you mess with the timbre itself, if you just add harmonics in just Operator 1, you should also be able to get new textures. So let's just raise Ascension. Let's try, let's just try various waveforms. Or if I mess with the preamble design, if I mess with the harmonics of just operator one, I should get some neat stuff. So yeah, there are many ways to get 
a, a different sort of texture from this. It doesn't have to be FM. It doesn't have to be anything too complex. It's a very simple sound. Um, another thing I would suggest actually is arpeggiating it. Or you could use this pattern up and down. Or, you know, whatever our arpeggiating pattern you want. But even beyond that, I would suggest you write down the arpeggios in the piano roll itself, just for more control. And you could you could filter it, you could add more FM, you could RM as well. You know, the world's yours. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and have an awesome day.